Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I just really wanted to make a Minecraft video. I kind of want to do a series where I kind of build stuff, but it's not like professional building. I really don't want to do professional building stuff for Minecraft because, first of all, have you seen Brian's base videos when he does Hermitcraft? It's crazy. So I decided, you know, let's chillax, let's build a bee emporium. Let's just hang out. This, I'm not going to show you how to build a bee emporium, but I am just going to build one and maybe have you follow along, maybe you can play your own Minecraft game, it's all what you want. I actually filmed this video already where I built the bee emporium. Oh! I did not see that. Whoa. He's threatening to hurt me. Well, we'll take care of that after we do the bee emporium, maybe for another episode. Speaking of bee emporiums, I'll tell you guys this. I am very scared of bees in real life. They may be thinking, why are you scared of bees? I, I don't know. I feel like it was because when I was younger, you know, everyone's scared of bees when they're younger. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Bees freak me out. They always kind of have freaked me out. And you know, it manifested. If you're afraid of something irrational, it's okay. I know people that are afraid of spiders, snakes. I'm not afraid of snakes, actually. Funny enough, I'm afraid of small little insects that help help the earth grow. I am not afraid of slithery rattles. They just don't scare me. I've never really been scared of snakes. I kind of want a snake when I live on my own. My mom does not want snakes. These are very easy to take care of. Apparently they're kind of low maintenance, I think. I've not looked into taking care of a snake because I'm not ready to take care of any pets by myself. I would need to have someone help me. I like snakes. I like holding snakes, especially boas, but only the ones that can't kill you. You know, I like I like nice snakes. Actually, you know what? You know what I forgot to do, and I have to do it. I have to put a tree around here. Let's get a little oak sapling some bone meal. The floor is over here, so we're gonna do it. Well, let's put it right here. It's perfectly, like, not touching. I'm actually gonna get rid of this one leaf, but it's perfectly not touching it. It's close enough to where I want. Or other things I'm afraid of. I have a lot of small fears based on things I'm not afraid of, if that makes any sense. You know when you're in the ocean and you're like, well, if a shark comes by, but you know a shark's not gonna come by, you just keep swimming anyway. It's kind of like that, where it's like some things I worry about, but it's not going to happen when I know that, so I don't, I'm not really afraid of it. So everyone's having a good day today. Whoever's watching this. If you're not having a good day today, that's okay. We all have bad days. And I hope that this bee sanctuary, or bee emporium, as I like to call it, makes you feel better. Because hey, everyone has bad days. Everybody has those days. I, I could have quoted the, everyone has, has those days, days. but I didn't, and now the meme is ruined. It's starting to get dark. Oh, the sun's setting. Isn't that nice? So I've now built up six blocks. I really wanted to make sure that the tree was at like the same level height, but because the tree's a little bit bigger, like at the same height, I'm gonna go one more so that way it's a little bit bigger than the plants are alive. They make music. Like this little wooden thing where you clip it to a plant, like let's say lavender, which is my favorite plant. You can clip it to a plant and it just makes music. You know what, I'll put it up here. That one, yeah. So I'm gonna do this thing where I kind of put like step ups right here. That way it's more rounded than it is square. Lavender is one of my favorite colors besides bubblegum pink sage green and doughy, which is like a bluish green. I have a bunch of favorite colors, maybe it's because I, have, I like colors of art. I should probably do like a painting of me both my favorite colors. That'd be cool. I could do that for a video. Or, you know what? This is my Minecraft skin, right? And I like it. I made it myself. The back is like not that interesting, as you can see with my hair. I could put my favorite colors onto my outfit or make a new outfit with my new favorite colors. Now we're gonna fill in some of this. As you can see, there's a spider nearby. I am gonna put lights around here because I don't want any creepers to hurt the. Sorry. I don't want the creepers to hurt the bees. I like to be creative when I do my art. I don't like to stick to normal things. Like, I like to have a color palette. I'm watching this show right now called Veronica Mars, which, if you've seen The Good Place, the girl who plays Eleanor St um, Shellstrop, aka uh, Kristen Bell, she's in it. And it's really good. I recommend watching it. It's actually really good, especially if you like teen dramas, but like when it's not Riverdale. No offense to Riverdale. It's not my show though. Monica Mars is a really good show. I recommend it. I drew a picture 
of Veronica Mars and like the concept of the show using like space stuff because you know her last name is Mars. So that'd be pretty clever. Stacy's mom has got it going on. I'm not gonna get copyrighted, but I've waited for so long. Actually, I got copyrighted once. So basically, I had this video out from my psychology teacher because she really wanted to talk about the Pavlovian response. Which, if you don't know, it's basically you kind of train someone to do something without them knowing. For example, this is the example I was going to put on YouTube, but then it got copyrighted. Jim giving Dwight miss every time he shot off his computer. And that clip's already on YouTube by itself, but the thing is, there was a part where Jim says a curse word, which isn't a big curse word, and she wanted me to get rid of it, so I did. However, Peacock right away was like, ah, nope, copyrighted. So thanks, Peacock, I appreciate it. But let's, let's, let's build, let's, let's go in. Well, first of all, I'm going to put down a little area where you can put an iron door so that way no one gets in. So I'm gonna use polish and the site, which you don't need to use if you don't want to. You can use whatever, especially if you're in survival mode. Oh, what the heck? What was that sound? Was that the witch? Oh, it was. Yeah, I think it is the witch that's making that, those noises. Yep. As it's now daytime, we're gonna start making the inside of the bee volume. I wanna start simple. We are going to get a bee's nest. I heard Enderman. Where's the Enderman? I don't see it. We're also going to put down a barrel that way we can get glass so we can get shears and you can take care of everything. What is that sound? Hey, Miss Witch, could you please not bother me? That's quite rude. That's not nice. Yeah. What'd you say about my mother? Here I'm going to spawn in a spore blossom because I like spore blossoms and also I like little green droplets they make. I feel like it, it gives a good environment for the bees. It kind of reminds me of pollen. But also pollen, I'm not sure is green or not. I'm possibly, I'm probably, most likely wrong. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put bone meal everywhere and then destroy any tall grass and then leave the flowers because flowers are very pretty. So as you can see, there's a lot of tall grass. So we're going to destroy it. Goodbye, grass. Now I probably should have built it more around there where there's a lot of blue corn cornfield flowers. Corn flowers, not cornfield flowers, but. That's okay. Now there's no more tall grass, which is good. That is exactly what we needed. So we're gonna actually spawn in some flowers. Oh, it's raining. That's okay. At least the bees are safe and they're not all drenched. So that's good. So we're gonna get poppies, dandelions, we're gonna get a cornflower, and lily of the valley. And also, we are going to get my favorites, because it looks like lavender, even though it's not lavender, lilac. Where's lilac? Oh, there it is. I think it's one of my favorites because it looks like lavender, at least to me. I have a fake lavender plant on my desk, and I'll take a picture of it right now, and here you go. I remember it all started when mom bought lavender dish soap, and all of a sudden I just became obsessed. Moral of the story, you don't know how you're going to become obsessed with something until it happens. I mean, heck, that's what happens with a lot of people watching the show Community, which is a really good show that I recommend. Things that look like they're going to be out of place will not be. And also, it's, it's your emporium. You don't have to do the flowers that I do, you know? You may not even like Lily of the Valleys or, or Lilac. You can do whatever. Lilac, Lilac, whatever it's called. You can do whatever you want. It's your emporium. It's not okay. What I didn't know, I'm going to say this right now. This is not in bedrock, but I didn't know we had candles. And I was very happy to to find out. So maybe in a video where I make a house, I will put candles around because I do love candles. So now we're gonna get some azalea bushes. But I want to get the flowering azalea because that's what I like more. Although big drip, big drip leaves. Is cool. We're gonna get the oh we're not gonna get this this one. Oopsies. The flowering azalea. Woo! Place it along the edges here, which is why some flowers will be eradicated. The reason why I had this little area is because I really wanted to make sure. That wasn't really crowding where I wanted to put the azalea bush. It's all it's all in the works. You decorate however you want. Again, this is just a video where I make the emporium. You don't follow my instructions. Or if you want to, you can. But I recommend you do what your heart wants to do. And now we're gonna put down lanterns. Now I'm gonna show you this decoration trick that I learned from watching the builders of Minecraft. The chain. Maybe an unpopular opinion, but I, I love chain mail because of how, how cool it looks. I know some people don't like it because of its armor stuff, but I'm also a fan of gold armor, so maybe I shouldn't be talking. Here's what we're going to do. We have these little chains, right? And then we just connect them to the lantern, like that. It hangs, like that. 
kita dengan uh, shoot. I'm gonna break that leaf actually. I'm just gonna. Oh. Sorry, leaf. I'm not gonna replace you though. And so that is basically finished. But you know what? I think we're missing something. I'm gonna put benches. I'm trying to put stairs down. Yeah. Again, you can do whatever type of stairs you want to make a bench. I'm going to do spruce because spruce is good. And then we're going to get signs. And we're gonna put them under this tree. Perhaps we can do it like. Or we could do it. I kinda like it. I'm gonna actually keep this one and then put a sign over here. Now we're gonna add in our bees. Let me get the bees. And I'm also going to spawn in a flower. We're gonna spawn four bees and then we start. Two, three, four. And it'll usually come to you if you have a flower in your hand. You can breed them. Watch. Oops. Oops. Okay. One, two, and watch. They're gonna mate. And they have a little baby. Look. And there you go. Little baby. It's so cute, right? Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you watching this video. If you're here at the end, please have fun. And also, if you want me to build anything else, please let me know. Let me know. Almost hit the bee! <laughs> oh no! Please let me know what kind of bee puns I should name the bees because I feel like that'd be really funny. Maybe I can name one Jerry Seinfeld or Jerry B. Feld, whatever puns you can come up with. I'm not too good at them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.